because I just have a basic knowledge of the <sighs> because I just have a basic knowledge of the so <sighs> Because I just have a basic language of all of the lang- What? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. Over here we cover all things transfer student and living your best life as an international student in the UK. So if you like the sound of that, then hit the subscribe button below. Follow me on Instagram and join the fam. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. So as I'm sure you've gathered by the title, today I'm going to be telling you five things I wish I knew before studying computer science. So for those of you who don't know, I am going into my final year of computer science. I do have a few videos up on my channel about computer science. There's my all about computer science video, what first year of a computer science degree is like, and also a second year of what computer science is like. So I will put links to those videos in the description down below. So today I'll just be sharing things that I wish I knew and I'll be giving you guys some tips on how to deal with some of the issues you may face as a computer science student. So let's get right to it. So the first thing is something I I've already mentioned in my all about computer science video but one thing I wish I knew was to learn how to code beforehand I had a very basic understanding of coding and I wish I'd spent more time before going into university just kind of learning as much as I can because the thing about it the first few weeks at university just tend to go pretty quickly they're only gonna teach you the basics for a certain period of time it might be a week or two <laughs> So yeah, you actually really need to have some experience beforehand so that you're not spending so much time, you know, adjusting to coding because it is a whole other situation. Like I'm sure in your last 12 years of school, most of you guys have done English, you have done maths and all this stuff, but like if you haven't done IT in high school, coding is just, it's a new skill that you have to learn. So it's really best to learn that skill or start learning that skill beforehand. There are tons of ways that you can learn. I always talk about Udemy. Udemy is a website that has like different courses that you can do. They are like fairly cheaper than a lot of other courses that you can do online. There's some that are even as low as 200 Rand. So those are always a really great option. YouTube is great. I've sent you guys links to some YouTube videos that I think are pretty good. I think I'll link some down in the description if I remember. And yeah, YouTube is really great to learn anything so why not learn coding on it also boot camps are great i feel like that would give you more of a feel of what it is really like being a computer science student and i think in boot camps they do have you work in groups sometimes which is really useful because in second year you are going to do a second year project so learning how to code with other people and how to work as a team when it comes to creating like a software i think is a super useful skill the second thing i wish i knew was to not be intimidated by people who have been coding their entire lives like there are going to be those people in university who have either coded in high school so they've probably been coding for like three or more years and then there are people who just have a fascination for coding and have been coding since they were six. It's not ideal to compare yourself to those kinds of people because obviously you're just starting out. You're like, you're a little infant basically and you're watching people who are running when you haven't learned how to walk. So just kind of like focus on your own thing. It is your own journey. It doesn't mean that you cannot become as good as them. It just means that you may have to take a little bit more time and have to work harder to get to the level that some people are at but definitely don't be intimidated the next thing is you have to spend extra time outside of class i think i've talked about this a couple of times but for me computer science has always been one of those things where i have to spend a lot of time at home going over concepts that were taught in class or 
because I tend to not finish a lot of labs. I end up having to pull all nighters to finish those labs. So for the most part, if you're not already like an advanced coder, you are going to have to spend a lot of time outside of class, either teaching yourself or maybe catching up on work. It's very easy in university to fall behind because everything is coming at you like the speed of lightning. You do need to have moments where you take a Friday night off of going out and you sit and you do your labs or you do your assignments. Now one thing I really really wish I knew and unfortunately I only figured it out like last semester, my second semester of second year, is that you should become an expert in one language. A lot of us just kind of learn the basics of each language, like I can code in Python and Mathematica, C++, Java, and I can code basic stuff in all of those languages, but if you asked me to do more advanced stuff in all of them, eh, that would be a little bit difficult because I just have basic knowledge of each of those languages. So for example, in my second year project, we were pretty much allowed to code in whatever, like we could literally use whatever. And I remember sitting with my group and we're like, so which languages do you like code in? What do you feel more comfortable with? And a lot of us just sat there and were like, we kind of like, are basic at everything <laughs> like like it's not enough for us to actually sit and code a whole software project with the amount of knowledge we have whereas if we had spent maybe a larger portion of time focusing on just java and becoming an expert in java i think we would have had an easier time with our project so obviously your degree will kind of force you to test out different languages which is why like in first year we coded in like math lab and mathematica and c plus plus and then in second year we went into java and python but just try and find time out of those things and focus on one language once you get the basics of java just continue and try and do some of the harder things then i feel like nobody actually really warns you about this but your lecturers only teach you so much like they will just teach you the concept but outside of that, you kind of have to do a lot for yourself. And I remember learning that in my first year where if you had an error on your computer, tutors were told not to tell us what the error was. So you would literally have to go online, go and stack overflow, go and Google and try and understand what the error was and how to fix it. I think they do this because coding is one of those things that you really have to do yourself it's not like some secret sauce like someone can't just tell you how to do it and then you'll know how to do it it's it's one of those things where you really need to buckle down on your own and commit to learning coding by yourself so yes lecturers will help you where they can but a lot of the time they'll just tell you to refer to google another thing is don't buy textbooks for computer science. I have literally never touched a computer science textbook the whole time I've been doing this degree. Google is very sufficient, if not more sufficient. Luckily, computer science is one of those things that is very techy. So a lot of the things that you need to know are on YouTube, are on Google, are on Stack Overflow. So those are my five things, but I've decided to give you guys a bonus one. My bonus thing that I wish I had known was that you don't need to study computer science to work in tech. I think a lot of the time when people want to work in tech, they automatically gravitate towards computer science. And computer science is a great foundation for any job, but it is not the only thing you have to study in order to work in that field. I wish I'd maybe looked at studying information systems or information technology, computer engineering, and more of that type of thing because I think I would have enjoyed it more than computer science. One of the things at Sussex, which I really, really, really wish I had done was computing with digital media i think that's what it's called and yeah that is actually just so much more my speed than just you know computer science on its own so definitely make sure that you do your research and you see what different universities are offering 
I have gotten tons of questions about the difference between a BSc computer science and a BCom computer science, which to be honest with you, I don't really know because I never actually researched a BCom computer science. So definitely be sure to look at those things and find things that may be more tailored to you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it will help you in your journey towards studying computer science. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 5pm London time. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!